Run away with me. We're on our way to New York City. This is where you'll make your dreams a reality. And if you dream big like me too, then NYU might be for you. What's up, y'all? Half a Guo here. Today we are in NYU classroom. I'm pretending to be a student at NYU. This right now is a classroom in the spiritual building. And this building contains free yoga classes, meditation classes, and safe places for students around campus. This building has four floors, and it's also connected to the Student Life Center. That building has 10 floors. Because NYU is located in the heart of downtown Manhattan, the buildings have to build up instead of spreading out. And each floor has classroom, uh, study spaces, multi-purpose rooms for big events, and things like that. So behind me, right there, is a spiritual building, and this is a chemical center, which is basically the student life center. This life building, every study space has an amazing view. So the thing about NYU study space is it, it's located very high, so you can see all of Manhattan, just straight down Manhattan. They have an escalator in their school. This is so cool. Ooh. We are right now in the dining hall right there. And this window can show us a pretty good view of this building. That's another dining hall, and down there is the main entrance. And over here is Keith's, kind of like a branch of Starbucks where people can have some coffee and study. And these are printing stations. And over there is a communal study space. Oh wow, it's pouring rain. Whoa, holy. So my NYU student friend told me a lot of the tuition for NYU actually goes to this library, not for the building, maybe for the initial construction, but actually to keep its millions of international databases. That's why they're very strict about entry. Even I can't even enter with a student taking me in. That means learning. You can learn a lot, you can research a lot, and uh, you can actually do practical things in this library. Oh, it's pouring rain outside. So we are in the center of Washington Square Park, which is basically the park area for NYU. Right behind me, you can see the arches, and all around me is NYU campus. Over there are classroom buildings. That actually used to be a textile building that burned down. NYU bought it, rebuilt classrooms. Over there is the library, which we were in, and that's the life building, and that's the spiritual building, and over there is the business school. And a lot of those buildings and over here are dorms. The thing about NYU campus is that it's integrated into the city. So there are actually some dormitories like 15 minute walks away from here. And there are classrooms within those dormitories. But first year dorm is near the central campus, which is good. In the spring, as Rachel told me earlier, there's a lot of street performers in this Washington Square Park and she loves people watching because people are so weird and unique and tacky in the New York area. All right, let's walk faster, let's walk faster. We are about to catch an Uber. So as you can see, we are in the streets of little New York and on both sides of me are classrooms of NYU. These buildings are all classrooms. So NYU is such an open campus it's actually a good and a bad thing. So Rachel told me sometimes it can get a little bit lonely at NYU because you don't have that campus culture. Everyone is spread out through the whole entire city, so it's 
hard to find like a common meeting spot. For example, at Columbia, Heyang told me she would study like 12 to 4 a.m. in the morning with her friends in the lab. You can't really do that in NYU because you gotta get home. And everyone lives in different places. Not many people actually live in the dorms on campus. <laughs> but on the flip side, the good side of that is you are literally in New York City. So you can go out, explore, and study wherever you want. NYU is definitely a different culture than the rest of the universities we went to. But if you like this New York City lifestyle, maybe NYU is for you. Another interesting fact is that 80% of NYU students actually go on exchange because NYU has a lot of satellite campuses across the world. For example, in Abu Dhabi, which is a Middle Eastern country, the tuition of that NYU campus is completely paid off by the king of the country. And they give you allowance to travel the world. That is an opportunity you would only get from studying at NYU. It's really cool. Okay, thank you for watching. Today we're gonna go have some Michelin star six. Peace out. And if you dream big like me too, if you want to get into a good university, if you want to get good grades, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell because this is the number one college channel. We might not have the most subscribers yet, but together we will get there and be number one. My name is Hafu Guo and I will see you next time.